Hey, busy crafters. Welcome to my channel. Well, welcome back if you're returning. Today is our Just Our Imagination collaboration, and our hosts are Kathy Jo DIY, as well as Rustic and Lace DIY, and Sweet Tea and Butterflies is our co-host for this month. Their links to their channels will be in the description box below, as well as the playlist. So go ahead and check them all out and give them some love, a thumbs up, comment, share, and like. So our challenge items for this month is, of course, winter themed. And we have to use these foam hair curlers, as well as K-cups and a balloon. So we're going to start off with these hair rollers. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree, bought a bunch of them, probably the last bit. So somebody who actually wants to do their hair, I am very sorry. Um, but, you know, I kind of needed them too. So I go ahead and I start off by taking out the little metal parts or the middle piece in the middle of them. I take them out because I kind of needed it a little bit more flimsy, which was a huge mistake because this project took on a different... Um, yeah, it was way different than what I originally wanted. And so at first I was like, I'm, I'm not sure if I really like it. Um, I think I had my heart set on the one that I had in my mind. And since I couldn't do that one, I ended up doing this one. So what I did is I glued them all together. And then for a little bit extra durability, I just took regular scotch tape and I just taped it around there. This project is still holding up very well. And so I go ahead and I just make a bunch of these circles. I make six circles, uh, three different sizes. Those big ones, I have six, five, and then four. And then I got this uh, yarn. It's an Eternal Bliss color, and it's from Yarn Bee, and I got it from Hobby Lobby. And then I just go ahead and I wrap each one. The problem that I had a little bit is I didn't wrap tight enough, so the pink was shining through a little tiny bit. Not much. You really can't tell now and now that it's all put together. So then I take the pieces that match the same, like these are the two four pieces. I just go ahead and with pipe cleaner, I attach each one. So white pipe cleaner, I attach them uh, top and bottom and I did it with the bigger ones. And this is when I realized that the project that I originally wanted to do wasn't gonna work. So once again, taking on something entirely different. So now I just go ahead and squish it down and then from the camera angle, the loops look really nice. In person, they did not. Um, I was on the verge of tears because it's not what I originally wanted. But in the end, the end product, this project turned out, you know, really adorable. And even though it's a winter themed pro project, I did, it is hanging up in my dining room with my snowman. So what I did is all those loops, I just go ahead and I glue them together. And if you can't guess what we're making now, we are making a giant snowflake. <laughs> and yeah, so um, my dining room's theme has always been snowflakes. Each room in the house has a different theme for Christmas. And this is one that I can put up during Christmas as well as leaving it up and not having to pack it away because it's just a snowflake. We have most of our snow comes actually in January. So because it needed something in the, the front to make me feel a little bit better, um, I didn't want to put a flower there. It was, it's snowflakes. Snowflakes don't fall with flowers. So I found these giant foam uh, snowflakes from Hobby Lobby, and I just go ahead and glue it down. It's a little off color, which is fine. It gives it a little bit of pop. So then um, I got those larger glittery snowflakes from Hobby Lobby, last year in their miniature tree section as well as these beads um from Hobby Lobby as well and the, I got them when they were 60% off the the huge foam snowflake it was 50% off this year and then I just go ahead and put down a little bit of blue beads my dining room is red so I try to do red snowflakes and everything but it didn't work out that way. I wasn't even thinking, and then I realized I could just put it in the dining room. So even though it's blue, it still, it still looks cute. And so it's more winter than, you know, my Christmas snow, I guess. So then I got that uh, blue, yeah, blue snowflake ribbon from Hobby Lobby as well. It was also 50% off, and it was $9.99 a roll. So I got it for like five bucks. 
And then I just go ahead and glue it to, you know, glue it down. I glued it up a little bit on the flakes. And then from that same gems, I just put big pearls around it and put a little blue gem in the middle, as well as big gems from the same gems. And then there you go. There is our hair foam roller, or hair, our foam roller hair curlers DIY project for winter. And let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you would do different. Um, if there's something that I could have done different that made it a little bit better, I'd really appreciate you telling me in the comments below. Um, right now, I want to so go ahead and say thank you so much to all my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. So here is hair foam roller DIY number two. And then, so I did not want to, you know, put anything to waste. And so as I was making the snowflake, this one actually came to mind. So I thought, okay, we could do this. I started off by a really small um, terracotta pot. I actually had to go ahead and put it up onto a bigger terracotta pot because it started getting top heavy and wanting to fall over. So I just go ahead and glue them. If I ever did this project again, I wouldn't do three up. I would just do the two up because this tree is extremely fl flimsy and extremely fl like flexible. Like this thing is, is crazy. It really is. So I ended up having to go back and bracing it a little bit with a dowel rod. But this thing, you, you can also bend it too. So I go ahead and I got those tie backs that look like uh, wreaths. They're four wreaths that you can like add things to the wreath and not meant not like, you know, it blends in. So I just go ahead and I wrap that around the pole and then I wrap it around the little foam, styrofoam ball that I got from Amazon. And yeah, so I just go ahead and wrap it all the way around. Um, I did have to upgrade the terracotta pot to a bigger one. I just put the small terracotta pot into the big one. And that's just how, you know, I did it. And then I go ahead and take these. I used this whole pack as well as two or three out of the other pack. So I still have some left. But this one, it turned out cute. Um, where I live in the mountains, we actually do have trees that look like this. So it's not a crazy tree. It's not like, you know, a weird tree. I actually do have trees like this where I live and they do look like this with the snow on them. So I just go ahead and I cut them in different lengths and I just go ahead and start glue, hot gluing them to the, to the pole. And yeah, um, even though there's a little bit of a brace to keep it from toppling over, um, you can still bend it. Like it still can bend. You can put it into weird you know, situations. The reason why I say that is because we have so many trees here in the forest that some of them actually do bend and twist trying to get to the sun. So you could be walking through the forest and see some really weird, twisted, bendy trees. <laughs> so this is kind of like a dedication to my mountain. And I just go ahead and now I'm just filling in. I'm, I'm clipping more, but I'm going to start filling in where there's some that's kind of bare and everything. So this tree is not anywhere in a neighborhood, apparently, because with the trees up here that are in neighborhoods, they get hacked up because they're touching pyro lines or they're over somebody's house. So the trees are not in the neighborhoods are not as full or pretty as, you know, I think this one turned out. Um, so, yeah, just let me know what you think, you know, about it. And yeah. Go ahead and comment in the description box below. If you are liking what you're seeing so far, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Um, this really would help out my channel, and it's free to you. And I would really appreciate it. So thank you so much for considering that. And yeah, now we're just going ahead, and I'm just filling it in. At first, everything was draped down, but I started bringing the branches out a little bit. There is a tree down the street from me that all the branches are just straight down it was actually it's kind it's so weird it's kind of pretty I'm not even gonna lie <clears throat> and it's like a really dark dark green almost like it's it's crazy it's a beautiful tree though I think it's because it's so unique so yeah now we're just going to go ahead and I'm trying to brace 
it even more. So I put more of that uh, twine in there. Well, not twine. Whatever that is called. I have no idea what it's called. So. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I was getting over. I'm just getting over a really bad cold. And so my throat got all of a sudden really dry. So I needed to get a drink. So I did do a poll on my YouTube channel. And it seems like everybody wants Christmas. There is a couple that want decorations for your ornaments. And then there is a couple that want winter. Well, this is a winter DIY. It's nothing to do with Christmas. It's just winter. And it is our just our imagination collaboration for the month. So I am doing... I am going to be doing more Christmas as well as I am going to be doing another ornament one for Christmas as well. And there's another collaboration coming up that has winter as well. So then I go ahead and I take my folk art chalk paint in white and I just give this tree a little bit of frosting. Um, this is what the trees look like in the mountains and when they're frosted. Like we don't even need to have snow on the ground. These trees can get frosted if there's condensation in the air. And this is what they look like. So you can see right there that the tree is kind of wonky a little bit. I guess it's doing the little twisty turny things to try to get to the sun. But then I go ahead and take those same snowflakes. I use four of them and I just put them around the base of the terracotta plant or terracotta pot. And there you have it. I'm actually thinking about making more of these because those little alcoves, I have three of them in my foyer. Well, actually, there's two of them in my foyer and then one of them in the hallway in between the dining room and the living room. <clears throat> so I'm thinking about making that just to put them in there. I do have unicorns that go in there right now. So here is challenge number two, the balloon. So I got these little paper snowflakes from Hobby Lobby um, this year when it was 50% off as well. Actually, just a couple of days ago. Not even that. I think it was like two weeks ago. Because I was stuck in the house for being sick. Which is terrible. Terrible, I tell you. Terrible. But um, anyway, so I go ahead and I started to try to glue things down to the balloon. Um, yeah, the paper and the glue and the balloon, they did not want to communicate with each other. They are rivals, apparently. And I had to learn the hard way. So I forced them, you know, to be friends. And still, they, they it, was, it was a fight, people. It was a fight. But I, I beat it. I beat it. So that makes me happy. So I'm going to go ahead and work my magic and try to glue every single thing down to a balloon. So if you're ever like wondering how you can stress yourself out and you don't understand how you can, um, try gluing cardstock to a balloon. I guarantee you, you'll be stressed out. Because <laughs> I was. No, this was actually pretty fun. It was a challenge, and I accepted the challenge, and I liked it. So, And then the end product actually turned out really cute as well. So it was worth the hassle. So I just go ahead, and I just start gluing them. I glue one directly in the center, and then I glue one off to the side. You know, And I kind of do like a, a T-shape, you know. So I'm going to then, you know, fight some more. With this, because this wasn't actually paper. It says paper on it, but it's actually thick cardstock. So, it works, but <clears throat> it, it takes, it, it's work. It works, but it's work. So, I found that it started gluing itself really good when it's paper on paper. So, that was actually kind of helpful. And if you don't know what we're making, we're making a bowl. Yep. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting candy in it. That is not covered. So, like, maybe Hershey Kisses because they come in a wrapper. No candy that's open because this is a lot of glue. And um, some more glue. Um, then there's paper in there somewhere. As well as some glue. So, yeah, a lot of glue. This, I glued so much that the paintbrush actually started gluing itself to the glue on the the balloon not even the balloon but the paper it was crazy it was weird and there was a point where i was like you know what i think this is good enough and i have to give up so 
then that's when I let it dry over time or overnight. Um, now it's dried and you can actually knock on it and it makes a noise. So I am terrified of balloons popping. I do not like sudden loud sounds. And so luckily I see somewhere that if you put glue on a balloon and you pinhole it, it won't pop. It just puts a little hole in it and that's what I did. So then there were some parts that did not stay stuck down. And so I just hot glued them. And yeah, there was, so then I didn't like the color of it, um, even though it was, it, it's kind of an off-white. Snowflakes are supposed to be pure white. So what I did is I just took a sponge brush and I just dabbed it around. So now this bowl has a little bit of texture. And because we need color, because you know, I like color, um, every single room in my house is a different color. So, we need color, okay? And what I did is I just took those same blue gems, and I just went around all the high points with the uh, the blue gems, and then the lower points I went around with silver snowflakes, and it turned out really pretty. So I didn't want the inside to look ugly, you know, because the inside would look kind of it looked bad. I'm not gonna lie, it looked bad. There's glue everywhere. Um, this glue is ninety nine percent. Or this bowl is 99% glue, just so that you know, okay? And so I just took one of those big foam snowflakes, and I just glued it in there. And now it's so cute. So then I take those Christmas balls that I got from <clears throat> the Family Dollar, and they were five bucks. And I just go ahead and I arrange them in there. And they're blue and silver balls. You know, so now I'm just like, okay, now there's way too much blue in there. Like, what is it wrong with you? And then I just arrange them to where there's like, now it's mixed. And then there you go. We used a balloon to make a bowl, a winter bowl. <laughs> and you can put anything in there. You can put candy in there. Just don't have it unwrapped. Uh, leave it wrapped. So let me know what you think about this project in the description box below. Or not in the description box, in the comment box. You can't do the description box. That's on me. So go ahead and follow me on all my social medias. The links to them will be in the description box below. And then here is challenge number three, the K-Cups. So this also took on an entirely different aspect that I wanted it to take. Um, yeah, so I don't drink K-Cups. I don't, I, number one, I can't have real coffee. My coffee is fake. It's a it's, uh, fake coffee because it's decaf. Can't decaffeinate it anything, which is unfortunate. But um, so these K-Cups were real challenge to me because they have a filter inside of them. And trying to get that filter out just was like not working. I'd probably be here for another 12 years trying to get all of the bits and pieces out of that K-Cup. Yeah, I don't have time for that. So what I did is something entirely different. So what I did is I go ahead and we got exercise equipment. And they had like a really thin piece of the styrofoam in there. And that's what I'm using for this project. As well as the K-Cups. So I just take black felt that I got from Joann's back in 2020. And I'm going ahead and just you know, gluing it to all the way around this foam disc that I am making. So, what are we making, you ask? Well, we are making snowman hats. <laughs> like I said, my dining room is full of snowmen. And even though this is not a Christmas decoration, it is a winter decoration. The snowmen that I have in my dining room are for Christmas. They're in the reds, the greens, all that stuff. Um, but this is one that I can also keep up because it's just a snowman hat. And like I said, we do a lot of our snow. Our snow comes a lot in January as well as, uh, February. And then just this March, 2023, we had about 15 feet of snow and there was buildings collapsing and everything. Also, we get snow in May, which kind of like really breaks my heart because I like to garden. <clears throat> And you can't put new plants out there if there's a chance of frost. So yeah. So what I'm doing is going ahead and putting 
the, the fleece all the way around the cake cup as well. And then I bring it all the way down and then I fold it into the inside of each other. And yeah, this is going to be, the, the disc is the base of our hat and this is like the, the tall part of our hat. And at first I was not really liking the way this was turning out. And then it grew on me and the more I added to it, the cuter and better it got. So although they took on a different, a whole different project than what I was expecting to do, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with them. So I go ahead and take that Baker's Twine that I got from the Dollar Tree. And it is a dark blue and white. And then I just go ahead and make a little loop-de-loop. -loop. And then in the beginning, I used my uh, oh finger knife. And I just poked a hole in the top of it. Sent that little thing through after I tied a knot into it. And then I glue it to the top. And then, of course, I, I let it dry, you know. And then I'm going to take the K cup and then I'm going to glue around the edges and then we're going to place it on the disc. And yeah, here we go. So now we're just gonna go ahead and place it onto the disc. And at first when it just like that, I was like, I don't know if I like it. I don't know what, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I've been sick and not really doing much around any place. I'm barely getting my house decorated. I finally got most things decorated. The only thing I have to do is the kitchen. So I guess I better get on that as well. And so then I got that ribbon from Hobby Lobby as well. And both of them I am using from Hobby Lobby when they were 50% off. And then I needed, they needed something else. This, it's, it's winter themed. And so I had the leftover sock from the sock snowman. And I just decided, okay, let's see, let's add some here, let's add some there to make it look like snow. At first I wasn't really pleased with it, but the more I added to it, the more I became pleased with it because the more it was actually looking like snow. And not just scraps of sock laying on someone's hat. Like, <laughs> who does that? So this is what I go ahead and do. In the middle of this process, I also take some snowflakes. Because, you know, a snowman's hat needs, you know, decoration. <clears throat> he needs a lot of decoration. You know, he, you figure he's out there freezing. So then I take some large snowflakes. Well, see, you can see them now. Those snowflakes are kind of like one of those uh, plastic tablecloths that have like the the felt or whatever on the back of it that's what the snowflakes are and then I just added gems to it so then now we're going ahead and taking these uh, snowflakes that I got from the Dollar Tree and I painted them white one side got two coats the other side only got one coat and then I add little red gems to them I tie a little loop-de-loop -loop in there and then tie or tie the knot and then glue the knot to the hole that came with them because these are um ornaments from the Dollar Tree. They're snowflake ornaments. So then I take that dark brown macrame cord and I do a little loop-de-loop -loop on the side because yes, we are making garland. And this beautiful garland is now gracing my dining room with its lovely presence. <laughs> so each, each part is about seven inches away from each other and I was going to do seven snowflakes and seven hats, but I ran out of macrame cord. So now I just did six and six. And now I have a hat and a snowflake sitting here looking at me like, you know, what are, what are they going? What are they supposed to do? I'll find something for them to do. So yeah, I just go ahead and I hot glue them down. And then um, also be sure to not glue your fingers to your garland. I've done that about four times just this one project so just throwing that out there for you guys um be careful of gluing yourself i've actually glued one of the snowflakes to my hand so there was that so then there it is hanging um it's not up against the wall right now i have my son holding it and that's why it's swinging and swaying like that love that kid he's amazing and he's always eager to help even though he might not want to he does so there you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.
Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys clicking onto my channel. And once again, I will be doing some baking and I am going to try to get that filmed. And so that way it can go ahead and come out. So thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you guys all. Have a blessed day. Bye.